Hello students. In the second part of electrochemistry, we are going to discuss Ohm's law, quantities related to it such as resistance, resistivity, conductance, then various types of conductance such as specific conductance, molar conductance, equivalent conductance, various factors affecting them, Kohlroch law, electrolysis, Faraday's first and second laws of electrolysis, disproportionation reaction and corrosion of metals. Ohm's law. This law was proposed by the scientist George Simon Ohm. It states that the electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across the amps of the conductor. So mathematically, as per Ohm's law, we can write that I, that is the current, is proportional to V, that is the potential difference or the voltage. Or I is equal to V upon R, where R is a constant, which is known as the resistance of the conductor. Resistance, which is denoted by a capital R, can be defined as the measure of obstruction offered by the conductor to the flow of the current. Mathematically, R is proportional to L by A, where L is the length of the conductor and capital A is the area of cross-section of the conductor. Or we can write that R is equal to S into L by A, where S is specific resistance, also known as resistivity. The unit of resistance is Ohm. Resistivity. The resistance of a conductor of 1 cm length and 1 cm square area of cross section is known as the resistivity of the conductor. Mathematically, as we wrote in the previous equation, R is equal to S L upon A. On rearranging this equation, we can write S is equal to R A upon L. So if length of the conductor is 1 cm and its area of cross section is 1 cm square, then S is equal to R. So we can say that the resistance of a conductor of 1 cm length and 1 cm square area of cross section is equal to its resistivity. The unit of resistivity is ohm centimeter. Conductance. The property of the conductor that facilitates the flow of the electricity through it is known as conductance of the conductor. It is denoted by a capital G. It is reciprocal of resistance. Therefore, we can write that G is equal to 1 by capital R, which denotes resistance. The unit of conductance is ohm inverse or mo or simin, which is denoted by a capital S. We know that the electrical conductance of metals is due to the movement of electrons in the metals. So the various factors that affect the electrical conductance of metals are the nature and structure of metals, the number of valence electrons per atom, the density of the metal and the temperature. The electrical conductance has been observed to decrease with increase in temperature in the metals. The next topic is the specific conductance, which is also known as conductivity and is denoted by LSP. It can be defined as the conductance of a solution taken in a cell in which the electrodes are at a unit distance from each other and have an area of 1 cm square. It is the reciprocal of specific resistance or resistivity. So we can write that LSP is equal to 1 upon S. Since we know that S is equal to R A divided by small l, where R is the resistance, A is the area of cross section and L is the length of the conductor, we can write that LSP is equal to small l divided by R A. Now when L, that is the length of conductor, is 1 cm and the area of cross section, that is capital A, is 1 cm square, we can write that LSP is equal to 1 by R. So Specific conductance or conductivity is the reciprocal of resistance. In case length is 1 cm and area of cross section of conductor is 1 cm square. Its unit is ohm inverse centimeter inverse or simin centimeter inverse. Now this factor that is small a divided by capital L is known as the cell constant. 
and is denoted by G star. The various factors which affect the specific conductance of the electrolytic solution taken in a cell depend on the nature of the electrolyte taken in the cell, the concentration of that electrolyte, the size of ions produced when the electrolyte dissociates in the, in the solution, the nature of the solvent in which the electrolyte is dissolved and the viscosity of that solvent and the temperature of the electrolytic solution. The specific conductance has been observed to increase with increase of temperature. Molar conductance. Molar conductance is denoted by Lm. It can be defined as the conductance of the solution which contains one mole of the solute dissolved in it and is placed between two parallel electrodes which are at one centimeter distance from each other and have sufficient area between them to contain the whole of the solution. Mathematically, we can write Lm is equal to 1000 divided by C into Lsv where Lm is the molar conductance. C is the concentration of the solution in terms of moles per liter that is the molarity of the solution and Lsv is the specific conductance. The unit of molar conductance is ohm inverse centimeter inverse or Simon centimeter inverse per mole. Molar conductance can be also written as specific conductance into volume in cubic centimeter containing one mole of electrolyte. The next topic is equivalent conductance which is represented by LEQ. The conductance of a volume of a solution which contains 1 gram equivalent of the solute dissolved in it and is placed between two parallel electrodes which are at a distance of 1 centimeter from each other and are large enough to contain the whole of the solution between them is known as equivalent conductance. Mathematically we can write that equivalent conductance denoted by LEQ is equal to 1000 divided by C into LSP where LEQ denotes the equivalent conductance. C is the concentration of the solution in gram equivalent per liter or we can say the normality of the solution and LSP denotes the specific conductance. The unit of equivalent conductance is ohm inverse centimeter square per equivalent or 7 centimeter square per equivalent. In other words, we can also say that equivalent conductance is the product of specific conductance and the volume in cubic centimeter of the solution which contains one equivalent of the electrolyte as the solute.